You are tuned into another episode of the Showbank Show, Showbank, live Showbanks. from Rated R Studios. Hey, yes sir, yes sir. I'm your boy Rated R. I got my dog with me, Papa Shro. Showbank, Showbank. I got my other dog with me, Ray. Yes sir. Showbank, Showbank. Episode Banks. 42. What it do, baby? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> It's almost depressing to think about Jackie Robinson sometimes because it's like he was great, you know, a pioneer, but at the same time, he wasn't really that good. They just picked him. Yeah, he just happened to be the guy that they he picked. He was the right place at the right time. Like, yeah. if ever there was... Hey, <laughs> no, nah, yeah. bro. If ever there was representation of right place, right time, that's Jackie Robinson. <laughs> Did any of y'all ever get to talk to Buck O'Neill? Nah, bro. Buck O'Neill used to talk bad about Jackie Robinson. He like, the boy wasn't that good. He wasn't that good. Like, because, <laughs> like, he would talk about how Satchel Page would talk bad to him on the mound. He'd be like, bro, you're not finna hit shit. What? Strike out easy. Like, an easy three. Eat three and out. Just boom. Damn. Yeah. Like, everybody would talk big shit to him on the regular. Because uh, funny thing is, he actually, like, would be full of himself, too. Yeah, that's, that's what I heard. He'd be trying to talk shit to everybody else uh-huh. and then get put on his ass. Funny to me. I feel it. What's this that's like I? if before the NBA was... <laughs> was integrated. Was integrated, bro. <laughs> and you had Michael Jordan in the Negro Leagues. <laughs> and Grant Hill. And Michael Jordan was busting on, Grant Hill's ass every day. <laughs> and they was like, nah, we're going to take Grant Hill. <laughs> Grant Hill is one of the greatest. And Jordan just sitting <laughs> back like, nigga, I'll bust his ass every goddamn day. <laughs> oh, too good. Real I'll shit. Him with uh, that. Uh, yeah, nah. uh, <laughs> the white folks aren't going to like that. Uh, <laughs> nah. Josh Gibson? No, nah, you, you stay up Did he there. just jump from the free throw line? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Come on, man. <laughs> Grant, come on. Hey, come, come on. Come on. Bring it in. Come on. What are we doing here? <laughs> Guys, come on. God damn it. Get get Mike. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> nah, so uh everybody good? Everybody good. We have a we had a good week. I feel like everybody had a decent week. Yeah. 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 Besides, I mean, obviously, you know, some some random shit. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? Like Tuesday? Tuesday was like mad week. No. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. No, I was driving to work. I got uh almost got cut off by a fucking coworker of mine. Damn, crazy, <laughs> crazy old lady we work with. She almost cut a nigga off. Cars was riding my like it was just some real weird shit. I went to Subway. These niggas ain't have no meat or bread. Hmm. How you? <laughs> how are you a functioning Subway and ain't got no meat or bread? Was it due to the virus? No. This was before. You know, all the, uh, cancellations. All the cancellations and shit. Like, this was, like, you know, literally the day yeah, before. I, th- I think that was the day of. Probably. The day like, of, yeah. It was prior before. to, yeah. yeah. And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, what you mean you ain't got no no bread? And he's like, we, we don't have no bread. All right, boy, you trying to fuck my day up. I'm going to go about my way. <laughs> so how was they going to make a sandwich? Why are you open at that point? Exactly. Was, that's what I was going to say. Like, bro, you you just, open? And you got motherfuckers in there sitting there chilling like, shit, I got my sandwich. Looking at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> Nigga, I'm just trying to get like you. I want my sandwich too. You ate all the bread, fat motherfucker. <laughs> all right. I'm out. Y'all have a great day. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. <laughs> Papa Show, your week straight, man? Shit, week was cool. You know, another week. Same. Can't complain. Same old shit. All right. Same here, bro. I had, I had a good week too. Um, One of the things I kind of wanted to talk to you guys was about, man, so, I was going to get my weekly tacos, right? Yes, sir. From uh, Jalapeno Bros. Yes, sir. And as I was leaving, I was kind of still in the parking lot, getting ready to kind of turn out. Yep. And I was on my phone sitting there, because usually there's no one behind you. So, I was kind of on my phone sitting there looking uh, to choose, you know, pick what song I wanted to play as I rode off. And there was a car behind me that honked, because I was taking my sweet ass time. And... In a split second, like, I was enraged, right? And I'm just like, the nerve of these motherfuckers to honk at me. Even though the horn is put in your car as a correctional tool or to make people alert. Yeah. 
It's an awareness tool, yeah. And all he was doing was alerting me that I was on bullshit. I was wrong. I was in the wrong. Yeah. But instead of accepting that correction, accepting that I was on bullshit, I chose to be enraged and ignore the correction. You see what I'm saying, bro? I feel it. So, I don't know. It just made me think about how I think a lot of people do that. Like, I think a lot of people, instead of, like, they focus too much on the form of the correction instead of the fact that they needed that correction. You know what? My mama always said this to me. It's not what you say to folk. It's how you say it to folks. And, like, maybe that just wasn't the way that you wanted the correction. But, like, if he had, yet, like, you know, pulled his head out the window and, like, yelled at you, that probably wouldn't have went any exactly. better. That would have went a lot worse. But either way, I felt like I needed to be more humble and be like, you know what? I was wrong, regardless of how I felt about the correction and the form. Right. I was wrong, and I needed the correction. I feel it. Let me take the correction. So I just wanted, I just wanted to say that, and I think a lot of people ignore correction because they didn't like how it came. But, my nigga, you need the correction. Take the correction. I feel that. You know what I mean? I feel that, especially because I cannot stand when somebody honks at me. Yeah. That is, like, the one of the top, like... That's a good way to really get me going. And even if I'm in the wrong, like... Yeah, That shit is I know. annoying. It's I don't just... know what it is about getting honked at in traffic, but that shit is... Hey, bro, I ever tell you about that time when I was at a Taco Bell drive through and this white lady in the truck got out of her car, knocked on my door window, and was like, can you pull up some more? Meanwhile, I'm like literally three feet from the car in front of me. You know how it's really supposed to be like three to five feet clearance uh-huh. between mm. you and the next car? She's like, well, other people can't get in this drive through because, uh, you know, you're being selfish. And I'm like, oh, I'm being selfish and rude. Bitch, you got out your car to come talk to me about me being rude and, like, you're on my ass, like. For no reason. For no reason. Like. So, like, I, that was just, like, a flip side of the correction. Like, I feel like she was trying to project that, like, you know, she knows she wrong for being on my ass. And so now, like, you know, she's trying to correct that yeah. by trying to correct me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes people fuck up correction. Yeah. Because like, that's what I'm thinking about. Or like, sometimes people think they're never in the wrong. Which, no accountability. Which can be me sometimes. So. Yeah. It could be everybody, bro. Yeah. yeah I'm a, it could be everybody. Too. Oof. But yeah, man, don't ignore. <laughs> nah, I had to have a moment of reflection, bro. <laughs> don't ignore the correction. And what I also wanted to say was that's like a tiny instance in where you can learn about yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't take these big contrived uh, endeavors. Mm-hmm, these cinematic moments. Yeah, to like learn about yourself. <laughs> oh, I have to go take a sabbatical. Boy, motherfuckers be wanting Tyler Perry movies. <laughs> yeah, to, to learn about yourself. No, in that little instance, you can you can observe your action and, and learn from it. Yeah. It really be just like... It's a habit of, it's about making a habit of being objective with yourself mm. and being honest with yourself. Mm. That's how you learn about yourself. It doesn't have to be this big Tyler Perry movie like my dog said. Mm-hmm. This nigga spitting. But that's, that's like, it's just one of those things where something little happens and you just kind of get an idea. It sparks an idea from it. So that's what I, I wanted to bring to the pod. I feel that. Damn. Now I'm about to go through this whole next week. Just thinking of that. <laughs> Real shit. I Damn, feel that. Am I wrong? Am I right? I'm I'm out turning right, but am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Did I have the right away? This is uh I think perfect for the right away. <laughs> <laughs> Integrating in what uh, I was thinking of because uh this week Barry Bonds popped up in the news. Talked a bit a little bit about baseball. <laughs> a little bit about oh! I just wanna get everybody's take on what he said about being exiled from baseball, if, if you guys have an opinion on it or what y'all think. I didn't even hear about it, so I don't he know. He just said he feel like he's got a death sentence from Major League Baseball. He missed uh, the Hall of Fame vote again this year. I mean, how how many times has he missed it so far? A few. I mean, he's probably getting closer to being ineligible. Because you only have a window. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, in huh? baseball. How was he getting close to being ineligible when Pete Rose was still in the running for however many years? Well, because Pete Rose has never been eligible. 
Oh, they declared him ineligible. Yeah, he's banned from baseball. He's never even been in a vote. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so okay, that's yeah, yeah. how his went, like his yeah. window is still open. Well, damn, can can my brother get some? I mean, shit, he was amazing when he wasn't on the roids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we take that in consideration? Or no? I don't think so. That's bullshit. I think he got votes, right? He just didn't. I think he got some votes, yeah. He got some votes. He just didn't have enough to no. make it. <sighs> but it, I don't know. I just think it's. Mm, I don't know. Like that whole that whole part of baseball they are throwing away. You know, none of them. Maguire, Sosa. That's what I was gonna say is Maguire. No. Maguire's not in. No. Sosa's not in. That's what I'm thinking. If Maguire's not gonna get in, I don't I think Barry Bonds should be like, well, if he's not gonna get in, how am I gonna get in? Right. Yeah. But that's, at the same time, I still think it. he deserves to get in. I it's just yeah, if Mark McGuire not getting in, bro, you are not getting yeah. in. Right, but then if he gets in, then does Clemens deserve to get in? Does McGuire deserve to get in? Does Sosa deserve to get in? I mean, I don't give a damn about McGuire. So. I'm going to say this. Like, it happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, well, I take that back. and Not to cut you off, oh, bro, you I'm good, sorry. Bro. But uh, I do give a damn about McGuire because those are the names you think about from that era, yeah. you think about Maguire, you think about Barry Bonds and the other names that mm-hmm. you could probably name more than I can. But that's what you think about. That's right, who right. advanced uh, baseball within that time. Uh huh. Yeah. And really brought it back from the dead because in 94 when they had the strike and didn't have any playoffs, I mean, people were real down on baseball. So 96, 97, 98 when they were hitting all the home runs. I mean, have we ever watched baseball like that again since that era? No, no those were record numbers. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Cause I mean, shit. That's when, like, you know, I was into baseball as a kid. Yeah. Like, yeah. And like, you know, you don't hear about that often. Like, you know, city kids playing baseball and shit. Like, that's not, you know, common like that. Yeah. So like, they they had a brother invigorated. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was people, especially like black players, I could look up to. You know what I'm saying? Because you had like you, your King Griffey's, you mm-hmm. had Barry Bonds. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You had players you could look uh, Mo Vaughn. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was players to look up to that you'd be like, oh, I could play like him. Or, yeah. You know, I that could be me. I think a lot of people thought Sammy Sosa was a nigga. Guilty. I, I mean, he him is, is, but you know what I mean. Him like, and Vladimir Guerrero. I, you couldn't tell me that they wasn't black. And then I heard him speak, and I was like, who the fuck? What is going on? <laughs> Especially, no, uh, Big Poppy Ortiz. That was Man. the main one. That, that was the one that got me, because he really looked like a Harlem cat. And then, him and Manny. Bro. With the dreads. With the dreads, yeah. 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 Was, yeah. Like, nah. They not niggas. Manny being Manny. Manny. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was the best. Yeah, I was just curious on you guys' take. Yeah, I feel it. I on some real, I, like it's it's low key shitty on their part, cause like that's like on the MLB, that's like on some like government type shit. Yeah, you know what I'm I saying. Feel that. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like let's pump this crack into this community and act like this never happened. We didn't do it. Who did that? Why did that happen? This is crazy. But we profited though. <laughs> but really, I don't know. Baseball didn't really have too much to do with it. That's getting into baseball. And they tried to stop it. That's the whole reason they had the strike in 94. They tried to stop it. And the players said, fuck off. And that I was mean, that, basically. I'm saying, though, but, like, it really helped reestablish your business. You like, know did what I'm they saying? try to stop it or did they try to stop it, quote, unquote? <laughs> they tried to stop it. Because in 90, that was 94. Oh. So oh. you still had 96, yeah. 97. Oh, so yeah, it's, 96 it's, it's, to it's 2008, really just, whatever Again, it was. this just sounds like the government again. Oh, we're going to yeah. create the DEA to stop drugs, even though we are drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Not for real, though. Keep, keep selling drugs, though. I need that money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a fact. You know what one, I'm saying? One thing with Bonds, though, I do get is... Uh, just he was not a very uh, people pleaser. Yeah, he did, he, he did not nice. bow out gracefully. Yeah, he <laughs> wasn't about the fans. Hey, bro, yeah. What was that the, uh, interview you was talking about where he had his son there and basically oh said, fuck God, them fans? Oh, bro. And it was, I just, I'll never forget that because that's when he had his knee and he kept on having to have it drained and shit. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of people was just like, basically it's just the roids that fucked his body up for so long. That he he was just so fucked up from it, and uh, he was out there just like. I don't really remember the interview or what was said, but I just remember how ridiculous it looked. He's in like gym shorts and a t-shirt, outside Giant Stadium, getting interviewed by fucking ESPN. 
I just want to play ball, man. Like some shit like Did this that. this thing have a T.O. moment, bro? Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Doing push-ups in his driveway. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he had crutches. Like... <laughs> <laughs> and this man on crutches, I was like, man, fuck these fans. I'm just trying to play Bro. ball, no. <laughs> fuck the fans. <laughs> fuck them fans. But at the same time, I kind of feel y'all asked for the roids. <laughs> oh, fuck me up. <laughs> like, you but know what I'm saying? You liked what the roids was doing. If Bonds would have never done roids, though, he would definitely be in the Hall of Fame. Facts. First Easy. Easy. Facts. Easy. His Easy. numbers are ridiculous. Exactly. But before. And mm-hmm. then after. That's what I'm saying. After they leaped off the page, but. You know, I, ca- I can't remember who it was, but it might have been Max Kellerman the way he was putting it about uh, how basically all these guys stole his shine in the late 90s. So when they all bounced out early 2000s, mid 2000s, my time is now. <laughs> hey, bro, you want to hear some bullshit, though? You know, I have a mint condition rookie card of Barry Bonds, and Ooh. that will not be worth shit. Because he's not in the Hall of Fame, it's gonna be worth. Maybe it's gonna be worth a little bit, but not, not as much as it should be. Like that yeah, should be a thousand dollar card. I'm holding on to. Yeah, you right. And it's only gonna be like two fifty. Come on, man! I need that band. I need I the whole it. band. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> they fucking with me, dog. <laughs> I'm talking about. I got it in like a perfect, pristine case and everything. Mm. Fuck. I feel that. That's cool. MLB got me. I got a. Uh, I got a Tony Gonzalez one. Rookie? Yes. Holographic? It's not holographic, but it's a nice little rookie core. Is that Falcons? (laughs) 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 Hey, it is the funniest card ever because he is just like kicked back in the locker room, just like chilling. Hey. Sitting back. This shit is hilarious. I got that one. I got a bunch of cards. I need to go look at them. I keep them at my mama's house because I feel it. I don't need them at my house. Yeah. You ain't just going through your baseball cards every day? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baseball cards, basketball cards. Bro, Cool Crest used to be the shit. Cool Crest out there off of, mm-hmm. fuck, I can't remember. What is it, 50 Highway? I don't remember. Basically, like, no, Blue Ridge. It's out there at the Blue Ridge cutoff. Oh, I think I know. The arcade about. out yeah. there. Yeah, and they got mini golf and, like, yeah. little putt-putt in the back. Yeah. Uh, bro, like, what is it? My family used to go there, like, every other Sunday. My dad would pack all of his kids. You know how many kids my dad got? Yeah. He'd pack all his kids, and we'd go there, and we'd spend, like, half the day there. I was the smart kid. They was out there getting toys and shit, you know, from, like, you know, when you turn in your tickets and shit. Nah, I was getting them cars, baby. I was getting <laughs> cars. I was playing the long game. I was like, them shit's going to be worth something. Because, hmm. uh, what is it? I managed to get a piece of Nomar Garcia uh, Parra's bat in one of my cards. That's dope. Yeah. That's crazy. I got hella cards. That's how I ended up getting hella cards like that. That's a crazy ass mindset that however old you were. <laughs> right. I hate to say it though. Moms put that shit in my head. She was like, boy, this shit gonna be worth some money. And I was like, money? Bad. I can buy all the games I want. Y'all can't tell me no? <laughs> Bad. <laughs> say less. I feel that. That's all that was on my mind. I feel that. That irrational dedication you have as a kid is crazy, ain't it? To, and the worst part is Facts. to like, it be nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, it'd be nothing. You had that random kid like, you know what? I'm going to be able to bike up this hill. No issue. Going five miles an hour. You know what I'm saying? Like, average kids, you know, you hitting that slow ass pedal up the hill. Uh-huh. Nah, he up there, you know, just booking it up the hill. And you just see him out there training. Rain, sleet, snow. For what? He going to discard this shit next year. He don't really care. Mm-hmm. Just that irrational drive you be getting randomly as a kid. What was your shit, Levi? Video games? Yeah, this motherfucker is a charm on them games. I have yet to beat this man in Madden. <laughs> no, I think you beat me that one time. Did I? I think so. Nah, it was Jamal. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Jamal is randomly good and randomly horrible. Try yeah. <laughs> Video games and wiffle ball. Wiffle ball? Wiffle ball. Wiffle ball was your shit. Hell hey, yeah. bro, when you got a backyard and you Hell can't really yeah. be playing baseball like that, wiffle ball is kind of Hell the yeah, shit, bro, bro. With that big-ass bat. Uh-huh. That motherfucker remember, hurt if you hit people with it. Bro. Hell yeah. I remember <laughs> me and uh, Bryce, we got this uh, junk ball set is what the shit was called. And it had, like, a red spot in the middle where you could turn it. Mm-hmm. And it had holes in it so you could throw different pitches. And shit, that shit was hard. That is hard. Damn, boy, they was really trying to train motherfuckers back then. <laughs> Shit was dope. How about you, Randy? Everything, bro. 
I mean, to me, it was everything because I, I feel I, I felt like I couldn't fail. Yeah, that's just something my parents instilled in me, and I just ran with it. That's a fact. Nah, everything except cleaning the uh, cleaning the room. Facts. <laughs> hey, nah, boy. I used to like just push it under the bed and be like, clean, it's clean. Boy, this shit ain't clean. Better have this shit right. Uh, I had a closet, like a nice like walk-in closet to the to pack the park everything in. Oh, <laughs> bro, it wasn't a walk-in. <laughs> Oh shit, nah. Randy ain't bullshitting though. No. Randy didn't lose this like psycho mindset till he was like twenty three. Good ass. <laughs> it's then like, I just gave into life. It's I feel like, it. He'd be out there with like probably his ligaments hanging on by a string. Gotta go harder, bro. Niggas ain't yeah. getting me better. This nigga used to try to talk to us like Kobe, bro. <laughs> Y'all niggas suck. Toilet tissue soft. Bro, chill, bro. We were playing pickup hey, ball. Bro, for real. <laughs> we were playing pickup ball, dog. Like, even in the eighth grade, bro, I remember I had, like, a D in my language arts class. And I was like, I just shrugged it off, kind of. And we went over this poem. It was, like, the Paul Revere's Rod or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told my language arts teacher, if I or I asked her, if I uh, memorize this poem, can I uh, get extra credit in the class? So, it's mind you, it's like a five- to six-page poem. And I came back probably two to three weeks later, memorized all of it, recited it to her, and I got my grade raised up to a B. Hard. <laughs> so I was just like, I don't know. It was just like, that's some good you couldn't tell me shit. I couldn't do shit. I feel See, it. See, that's the good side of the psycho shit. Yeah. I can't lie. That shit never really applied for me to school. School? Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't want my dad to beat my ass either. So I was ah, just like, I, oh, I got to make it. That's survival that. tactics. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nah, that's, see, that's the good side of it, right? You know what's the bad side of it? I'll never forget one time, bro. I'm going to the hole. I hit a Euro step. Randy slides in front of me. My elbow is coming down. It goes right into this man's solar plexus. And it's hard. Like, cause I was I was trying to clear the lane, bro. It goes hard. This man said, <laughs> I like that shit. I was like, man, get away from me. <laughs> when was this? Bro, we was at KC North. We was at KC North. I don't even remember that. Yeah, this is when like I was like, oh bro, I think I'm trying to hoop again. Yeah. And like this nigga Randy was just all all defense perimeter shots. That was it. That was his game. This is when he had kind of lost his win. And this man literally, like, I'm talking about I elbowed the fuck out of his chest. And this man looked at me. I like that shit. Keep that shit up. I'm like, bro, get man, all right, was bro. That I'm about to go. Was playing with Lester? Nah, 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 nah. That was like 2017, 2018, bro. Okay. This was like 15, 16. Okay. Yeah, this was like early in my relationship with my ex. Damn, I don't even remember that. Yeah, see. I told you. Psycho. It was a psychopath. Exactly. Bro. I told you. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, this man blanked, bro. I told y'all. Like, I don't know how I made it out that period of time. This man was a psychopath. Damn. <laughs> Used to scare me, bro. I feel it. I feel it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This nigga don't remember. Like, that's the scary part, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, yeah. he just gonna laugh this shit off. I'll be scarred from this shit, bro. I'll be dapping this nigga up like, <laughs> <laughs> we cool, right? <laughs> my brother be telling me the same shit of stories like from when he was little. And I'll be like, damn, I did that shit. Bro, he, cause he used to snap on little, on little dude, bro. Yeah, bro. Like in a loving way, but yeah. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll feel it. I'll feel it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So mm -mm. from uh, psych psychopathic shit to uh, psychopathic people, mm. talking about the world of uh, mixed martial arts. Oh yeah, them, that's a legion of psychos. Legion <laughs> of bullied psychos. Fact. <laughs> For the most fact. Part. <laughs> Big fact. So, the, mm -mm. Like we was talking uh, before the show about uh, GSP and how dominant he was. In this day and age, could somebody be? The same model as GSP and be a superstar. That just neutralizing power may not be the most exciting. I'll say if they were if they were of a, a minority group, because they would be getting if they're winning consistently, you know, in their champ. I think uh, minorities will get behind them, but I don't think they would be on a superstar level either. Just because I don't think that's that's not what the UFC is about. I think the UFC is more about like, and I don't want to sound like this, but it's about white folk kind of <laughs> really. Hey, 
uh, embracing the fighters. If the white people don't embrace the fighters, they're not really superstars. That's kind to of me. a fact. Because, like, I mm-hmm. on some real, I feel like Conor changed, like, really changed the game and somewhat for the worse. Because, like, he, like, re-brought back them just bleed motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just want to see KOs and, you know, absolute dominance. That's all they want to see. For the most part, like yeah, the casual I, guys, no, you know what I'm you, saying? Uh, when I think of casuals, that's what I think of. Yeah, they, oh, I love Conor no, McGregor. Yeah. Let's go, McGregor. You don't really care about the sport. There's nothing <laughs> I can't stand more than being somewhere watching a fight and hearing somebody, oh, you're just going to do that wrestling pussy shit? <laughs> bro, stop get the it. the fuck out of here. Go watch something else. Real shit, go watch boxing, bro. For go real. watch boxing. Punch his face. There's plenty of, bro, there's plenty of that. Exactly. There's kickboxing, there's... You don't have to Matter watch of fact, this. yeah, I was like, you want to watch some real exciting shit? Go watch some Muay Thai fights, lion fights, uh, motherfucking, like you were saying, kickboxing. Like, go Bare watch that shit. boxing, that's for you. You, yes. Uh, why is that shit not popular? That's what I'm trying to understand. I kind of feel that. Because, like, this is what you motherfuckers want to see. Y'all want right? to see the most brutal shit possible? That shit is, is scary. I don't watch that shit. I can't. I feel you. I got a weak constitution when it comes to that, bro. Nah, after I seen the pictures of the Jason Knight versus Arnold Lobo. Oh, my God. It's like, I know I don't need to see that. Nah, bro. They look like they went through a meat grinder. I am good. good. I am real good, bro. Mm Mm-mm. Nah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, and to kind of go off what Randy was saying, they would, basically, you would have to be another GSP. And I mean that in every way, uh, every single way. So, I'm talking about. Uh, like you'd have to be of a like Caucasian descent, cause like I don't think any black fighter could really get away with that, or any other like minority fighter could get away with that exact style, personally. Cause then they create narratives for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause all right, case in point, Woodley, right? We we talk about Woodley a lot. Woodley and uh Mighty Mouse, right? Yeah. Mighty Mouse was dominant. He would have fights where he would completely neutralize the guys, and then he'd have fights where he would just dominate the person, akin to GSP, right? Yeah, yeah. No respect, except hardcore MMA fans. The casuals didn't give a shit. I think with him it's more weight, though. I was just going to say that the business, It could be. That 125. It could be, but, like, I don't know. I just think about with, like, somewhat with, like, Floyd, right? Uh-huh. Like, Floyd's weight class is, like, a buck 45. Uh-huh. And people would still, like, tune in to watch that. Like, Perfect that was, Storm. Business, yeah, all perfect the, the antics, yeah, yeah, because then he played up to the, and that's the worst part. A lot of times, I feel like the, like black fighters typically got to play the heel. You got to play the heel part. Really they not trying right. to see you win, because like, right. and this goes way back to like the nineteen early nineteen yeah. hundreds. Oh, yeah. Jack true. Johnson, you know, Jack Johnson was a pimp while he was a championship fighter, right? <laughs> uh, 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 what is his name? Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis was a pimp. Oh, Joe Lewis was. Joe Joe Lewis rode around in a pink Cadillac. And would have expensive furs and suits. But was he a confirmed pimp, bro? It wasn't confirmed, but like okay. he did have a but stable. Based on your women. nigga context clues, he was a pimp. <laughs> he was a pimp. <laughs> I feel you like, get what I'm saying, bro. You. We right here. You, all right, bro. Because I was like, I mean, it wasn't confirmed, but like, you know, if it walk like a duck and quack like a duck, I'm gonna say it's a goddamn I duck. Think Sugar Ray did too. He had a pink <laughs> joint too. Robinson. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because like all the fighters from like the 40s and 50s, oh, uh, if you didn't have a, like a, a dope ass Cadillac, you wouldn't. You wouldn't know. Mm-mm. I feel that. Niggas be broke as hell with a... With a dope Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Shiny as shit on the outside. They ain't got shit for real. All them niggas went broke. <laughs> All of them, bro. And it's crazy. That shit didn't, like... It didn't stop. The fact that, like, all these boxers seen these motherfuckers come up and fall and still follow that same model. Yeah. Because yeah. Evander Holyfield. It's like, what, he have, like, 12 kids? So I'm like, he had double digit kids, bro. Yeah. And ended up paying up paying child support through the fucking nose. Went they broke. They all had one thing in common. They came from nothing and had everything. Yeah. They don't know how to fucking deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. The only person I've seen like truly bounce back from this shit, Mike Tyson. Yeah. 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 And like it's crazy because like when you look at all the other boxers that like he's compared to, they have like, you know, better historical wins than him. But, like, yet people still are just enthralled with Mike Tyson. That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? That is a good people point. People are enthralled with Mike Tyson. They still call him champ. Because his, his wins weren't... I they mean, weren't that was, significant. He wasn't beating the guys. You nah, know what I'm he saying? he was mainly just fighting over-the-hill fighters. And, because, and like, cause like, I think his most significant wins from back then was uh, Razor Ruddock 
And I think a old no, I don't even think he fought Larry Holmes. I think that fight was supposed to be set up and it didn't get made. I think he, I think he, I think, I think, he, I think Larry he did, did fight he, Larry Holmes. But it might have been like you said over the hill. Yeah, yeah, I think it was during his comeback. Uh, yeah, and like he somehow he didn't end up fighting. Uh, what's his name? Uh, George Foreman when he was uh making his comeback. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he didn't fight the guys. You know what I'm saying? Cause like uh, for for a long time, like they didn't fight, uh, he didn't fight Vander Holyfield to like you know they were kind of getting out of their primes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause like you gotta remember something. They didn't fight to like the early 2000s, and Mike was dominant in the 80s, almost a 20 year gap. You know what I'm saying? Like, and yet people just like, oh man, Mike Tyson, he's the greatest. He's you know he's this, he's that. It's just when you watch, I know it, it's I, that's what I'm saying, bro. Something else. Cause and like like. And even to this day, people still go crazy over his hands. This is a fact. Literally, that Dude, whole I video remember you just gave went me those viral. Tapes, bro, and I hey, got lost. this nigga. I got See, lost psycho lost shit. It. See, psycho we going shit. back to that psycho shit. Yeah. Cause this nigga, like, I swear, bro, I would go to his house randomly. He just had a tape playing, and this nigga be shadow boxing nothing. Yeah. But trying to like mirror those movements, I'm like, bro, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Cause like, bro, if I get hit with an air punch, I'm suing Randy. <laughs> I'm suing Gil. I'm not. I was. I was too young to own a. Well, I was. I was old enough to own a gun, but I ain't finna shoot him. Not yet. <laughs> not but yet. back to the UFC. I feel like we're getting off. Yeah, topic. we did. Uh, we got yeah. off topic, but. Um, I kind of feel you though, uh, because really, superstar was everybody. You know, is either a finisher or a more exciting fighter. Um. I think that you hit the nail on the head with if you're a minority fighter, you got to play the heel role. You have to play the heel role. And look, I think Adesanya knows this. I think he yeah. knows this. Because, like, he didn't be like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't give him my best enough. He's just like, man, fuck, fuck that. Fuck you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't want to fight me. I went out there. I tried. He didn't want to fight me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he knows how to shift the blame. And like, oh, he doesn't know how to take responsibility. He's playing the heel role. But it's also on both. Oh, oh, it's on both, both parties. parties. I know, like, but everybody's just trying to point at the champ because you're the yeah. face we got to see all the time. But at the same time, like those first two rounds when he went in at him, he got fucking smoked with the left hand. Exactly, he got I'm popped. Not, yeah, I'm not about. I'd sit back and leg kick him to death too. Exactly. Yo, nobody that. ever puts themselves in that situation. Like, damn, I've seen what this man can do. He literally just touches people and they just fall to pieces. I'm good. Yeah. Exactly. I'm going to play the outside. Oh, I got reach advantage? Bet. Kick. Kick. Fight me. Nope. Kick. They want kick. the Rocky match. And then, the worst part That's is, true. they got the Rocky match before that fight. That's a fact. And, like, everybody. Hey, <laughs> Real <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, bro. Yo, mama. <laughs> and, like, you just seen their faces afterwards. Like, do they? Nobody ever thinks about the fighter after these great fights. Oh, no. That's the worst shit ever, bro. I didn't see uh old girl's face. I seen Yo, alien head. Yeah. She but had I didn't Somali see... head. <laughs> that nigga Josh ah. said, this <laughs> head, so she got the Somali head. <laughs> 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 nah, you said it, bro. Off air though. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> that shit I funny. Off air, that bro. shit funny, bro. <laughs> you snitched on me, dog. I did, bro. For the pod. For the pod. So guess what? <laughs> We're not deleting that many fresh shit. Oh. oh! Hey, nah, bro. He stay airing me out on the pod anyway. Uh, brother trying to get that consultation pussy up. Hey, hey yeah. Hey. Hey. Now we're bringing that up. Yeah. Nah, no, nigga. No, I don't. I never up. forget. It's out there now. Ray it's never so forgets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <It's> life. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Why do I have to relax? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah, bro. But like, nah, Wei Li Zhang, like, her, like, her whole face was puffed and like, was done. Oh, yeah. A lot of inflammation. Mm. Ton. Like, lips was on swole. Eyes was damn near shut. She was fucked up. I mean, obviously, it didn't have the aesthetic as, you know, you want but mm. she was fucked up. Like, she didn't walk out of there easy. They both had to go to the hospital after the fight. Hell yeah. Both of them. Hey. And I guess I guess one thing that the casual fan like myself w- doesn't take into account is the internal damage. You know what I'm saying? So, uh-huh. I feel that. I definitely feel that. Or just the, the head trauma that holds on from that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, 
we talk about it in the NFL all the time. It's those. It's the constant ones. Yeah, yeah it's let's the talk about hits. your experience, bro, because you had a fight. Okay. So let's talk about your kind of career uh, in the, in the fighting, and how you kind of had to deal with that type of. Well, honestly, like from when I started. I started probably training around 17, 18 years old. And then by the end of it, I was probably 23. I think around in there. So around right in there. And, you know, from start to finish, there was definitely a lot different feeling on getting hit from the beginning. Didn't really care too much. It was like, oh, hit me. Fuck it. Let's, you know, let's fight. I'm invincible. By the end of it. Stop hitting me. Ducking and dodging everything. Fuck that. Really? <laughs> I mean. That, and then, bro, this is this is something they don't talk about, right? Most of the time, you know where most of uh, fighters' brain damage takes place? In the gym. That's a fact. In the gym. And I've seen sparring. plenty of people get smoked. Cold knocked out in yes. the gym. Mm. Plenty of times. Get. I have, at one point, I when I first started training, um, I sparred against a professional fighter. And, uh, like, I had... Literally just start like literally I was mimicking the video game like because that's what got me into the shit mm-hmm. in the first place I kept ducking my head throwing an overhand Told me to stop. I should stop doing that basically and I was like, you know, well, fuck it. They do it on the game. It's Try gotta work in head. real life. <laughs> fuck it. That nigga hard head. Uh-huh <laughs> Duck my head Pow. uppercut <laughs> Pow uh. <laughs> Went down. I'm, I am out of it and then I get a knee to the chest on the ground as, as um like Anderson Silva, Chael Sonnen style, uh, and it, it was it was a wrap after that. Like that was probably like first couple weeks. See, the first couple weeks I started training like in Kansas City was was wild because that happened, and then there was another dude that had gauges there, so he he got <laughs> holes in his ear, right? Somebody got their toe caught in his ear. And ripped uh, that shit open. <laughs> Mm 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 mm. Damn. <laughs> funny as shit, but God. not funny. Yeah, not funny at the same time. I felt so bad, but next time I seen him training, he had tape over his ears. Tape that shit up the way you're mm-hmm. supposed to. Right, but definitely over time, there is a huge difference, and I don't know if it's it's just that or getting older as well, and just kind of being more. Aware of your health. Exactly. Self-preservation. Exactly. And so I think by the end of it, I was just, I was done getting hit. Like I, That's when I realized it was probably for the better to just stop while I'm ahead. Retire. You know? Put the jersey in the rafter, dog. Shout out Baby Dory. Hey, man. Undefeated. Want to know. Never lost. <laughs> Never lost. <laughs> <laughs> See, man? Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. I really wish, like, that side was displayed more. To the average fan. You know what I'm saying? To the mm-hmm. casual fan. Because, like, there's repercussions to this shit, man. Y'all need to know. And people go extremely too hard in the gym sometimes. And there's still that in-between of... Well, I guess, I, I don't know, because I have been out of the game for a little bit. But there's definitely still an in-between of going hard in the gym and people that are trying to change it to where we don't need to go hard in the gym. Like... Sparring wise, you know, we can get our, our reps in and everything like that, get in shape, but we don't need to cause each other, you know, insane. Unnecessary di- exactly. Trauma, yeah. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I think you need to spar, but I don't think you necessarily need to fight spar, spar hard. Right. Like hard, hard sparring. Yeah. Like, like you're like, saying, fight sparring. Yeah, like, like they be trying to like, actually fight. Yeah. Because I think most of my team didn't really think I had it in me when uh, I had my fight. Because when I came back, everybody was just like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, I was like, what? I, I just don't go, you know, 110% in the gym. But, you know, you're going in there thinking you might die. Hey, it's bro, a you got a different keep, part exactly. of your, your yourself that turns on. I just flipped the switch. Flip. flip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Now I can see that's, the, that's, that's something else that should be, you know, documented more. The fact that, like, you know, these are people at the end of the day, mm-hmm. but they have to flip a switch into a essentially a machine. Right. You know why they in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, who they are in the cage isn't exactly who they are outside. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker was running into the cage face first. That's how, <laughs> how amped up he was. Levi don't do that in real life, bro. Right. Schroeder don't do that. Nah, that was definitely a different. Exactly. Just... Like, you would have thought he was on meth. 
You have to, <laughs> you have to embrace that cycle. Yeah. I remember walking up the steps into the cage and just, <laughs> and I was, that's when I realized, all right, I'm not me anymore. And I just was like, dude, that was right, such a great night. It really Woo. was. That was bro. such a great night, bro. It really was. I look at that video from time to time, man. Real shit. Yeah. I feel that. Like everybody was there. Uh-huh. And it was just like, it was it, man. Yeah, that shit was wild. Especially shout out to Mike, bro. Yeah. Cause oh. he made that shit. Like <laughs> he was, Terry, bro. He was on <laughs> 10, bro. Fuck them all! Fuck all! Yeah, shit! <laughs> that shit was we great. Was, we was like, I need <laughs> your energy. Yes. I felt that shit, too, because, like, it was kind of crazy, because, I mean, I don't know if I'm just being biased to myself or whatever, but I feel like I had the loudest fans in the venue. You know what I'm saying? I, I think Facts. you did, bro. <laughs> Facts. Because we ignorant. No, nah, yeah. yeah. We, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I fucking love it. Nah. Niggas was on 10 that night, bro. Especially yeah. when uh, Cuz hand got raised. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Niggas couldn't get consistent yet. <laughs> that shit was gold. I remember winning and just turning and finding Meezy and yelling at him. You owe me that fucking steak. <laughs> so he told me if I won, he'd give me a steak. And I, you owe me that steak. I want that steak. I want that steak. This nigga fought for a steak. Bro, I was hungry at that point. I was starving. Starving. And I mean, like. I know. Everything. I wanted blood. <laughs> you know what I'm nah. saying? Like, <laughs> I knew he was on some nut shit when he tried to hit his uh, spinning back kick on Cuz. I was like, oh, he has lost his mind. <laughs> Cut it out. You would starve like Tom Hanks. <laughs> Speaking of Tom Hanks. Hey! 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 Speaking of Tom Hanks, Randy. Oh, uh, no. Go take it away. I just wanted to say speaking of Tom Hanks. Dab Rona. That he got the Corona. Mm-hmm. Dab Rona. Uh, as Meezy would say, not Corona extra, Corona virus. <laughs> nah, that shit was funny because he was drinking a Corona when, when I came into the fight. So I was like, you drinking Corona? It was like, motherfucker, this Corona extra, not coronavirus. So I was like, you right, that shit was funny. That nigga suck, bro. <laughs> but yeah, he got that <laughs> COVID-19. Damn. COVID. What? <laughs> <laughs> I coughed over the mic. That's your mic, bro. Yeah, it is. I know. That is your mic. Yes. <laughs> if I see you on any other mic, it's on site, bro. Okay. <laughs> 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 Tom Hanks is not gonna die. Neither is Rita, Rita Wilson. Facts. Or um, how old is Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks is like in his sixties. No, nah, I think he's seventies. Is he? I think. Yeah. Let's see. Hey, bro. Um, yeah. hey, bro. If he drop, yeah. <laughs> it's a wrap. What you think? What you think? What? Why you say in? Eh? Cause that's who is fucking up. The probabilities. <laughs> Yeah. No, oh, no. that's who it's fucking up. It's fucking up them boomers. Yeah. Oh, he's sixty three. I, I, I knew it. That nigga look an old sixty three. So he been acting since forever. On the Joe Rogan podcast that I watched. Yeah, I've been meaning to watch that Bits and pieces one. of yeah. of that one. Um, that dude was talking about how Wuhan is a uh, biological uh, weapon. Like they they work on biological weapons in Wuhan. Yeah. That's where the virus is from. Yeah. I thought we knew that. No, I didn't know that. Oh. I feel like I said that, but I don't know. I say a lot of crazy shit. Word. But. Yeah, you said something something like that. Okay, okay. You said something like that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, like they. You said they have like a center out there. Yeah. Okay. I do kind of remember that. Like a biological center where like, you know, they test different things. So that shit's interesting. And so did it come out of there or did it come out of animals? Because I've heard it was traced back from animals. That's exotic animals. I, like I'm pretty sure that's the smoke shit. screen that they're using, right? Maybe dude was saying um, that it doesn't look like it was man-made shit, mm-hmm. which I could see. But then uh, maybe I, it got an animal and mutated. Well, I was talking to well, Mama Wu Tang was talking to me about it, saying how uh, that uh, she thinks maybe it got out somehow and then mutated in ex- an animal. Yeah, yeah. basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that's my guess for it. And yeah. Like, and the fact that, like, literally China tried to act like this shit wasn't happening for, like, two weeks. 
hushed a bunch of different doctors, medical professionals, tried to like stop yeah. the leaks from getting out, which delayed prevention on everybody's part. Right, that's pretty on brand for China. Though. It is very, very shady much so shit. On brand, <laughs> on brand. Yeah. Hey, big fact, and I'm just kind of mad that like you know they heard rumblings of it and everybody just played it off like ah, niggas is bullshit. <laughs> like no, bro. Like on some real. I like not even to sound like xenophobic or nothing. Like I nothing against uh, Chinese people, but like we should have closed flights to and from China like as soon as we heard like in a, of an infectious virus coming from there. That's facts. I don't see why that would be. Yeah, because like it's not directed at, directly at Chinese no. people. We already closed it from uh, Europe. Yeah, I know. We're gonna close and off they from Europe. Added uh, the UK and Ireland today. Oh, they so just now added they that shit. Oh, yeah. now they blocked. What yeah, the fuck? They was... Yeah, initially they wasn't blocked. Bro, stop playing politics. This is bigger than politics. That is low key pissing me off. Like, there's some politics that need to go into it, but that's not the kind that we need to worry Fact. about. Who gives a fuck? Why are you going to get mad about borders are closed, yada, yada, yada? There's there's some shit going on right hey, now. Like, it's okay. You know what's the funniest shit, though? The fact that, like, Mexico is talking about closing their borders from us. I think me and Randy was talking about that before you got here, because that shit is hilarious. I hope but they do. I hope they do, too. That'd be the that... funniest shit ever. We're so entitled, Flex. bro. Like, We're so entitled. Oh, country. yeah. yeah. Fact. We're entitled oh, yeah. to shit. <laughs> I think that's just beyond funny, though. In between, like, the talks of uh, the uh, Syrian refugees at one point, and now, you know, the the Mexican border and all that, you know. Everybody trying to close off from everybody. so. Mm -hmm. Some real isolation and shit, bro. Yeah, I hope they they close their border. Dog. Oh, go ahead. ahead. I was just going to say, all these different state of emergencies been uh, issued. Like, Kansas City is under state of emergency. The whole state of Missouri is. whole state of Missouri Yeah, yesterday is the governor uh, declared state of emergency. Oh, finally. Over four cases, I think. I mean, fuck. It's super it's infectious, It's like, though. I get it and I don't get it at the same time. Like, I think that we, we get a few months into some warmer weather and we'll be all right. The only thing that I think we really got to worry about is once we get to next year. Once it starts getting cold, cold again. again. That's because like I think gonna be I mean, I I think it's gonna like essentially like it reissue. You say, yeah, yeah. we're well, gonna get the remix. But <laughs> gonna need Diddy on it. It's the Yo. remix to the sickness. <laughs> no. <laughs> did you not hear that shit? This motherfucker is disgusting. <laughs> get him off the he air. He is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> but I got some uh more disgusting shit to play for y'all, actually. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, shit. All right, without further ado, here's this uh, nasty shit. Move, bitch. You got coronavirus. Ooh, shit. You got coronavirus. We ain't finna do shit with this coronavirus. I ain't finna take a trip with this coronavirus. Move, bitch. You got coronavirus. Ooh, shit. You got coronavirus. We ain't finna do shit with so this So we ain't finna do shit with this coronavirus. <laughs> Niggas always... Nobody take shit serious, bro. <laughs> no, Niggas no. do not take shit serious. Like, until, like we, uh, so, until somebody we know die, we not finna take this shit serious, bro. That's a fact. That's the fucked up part. Like somebody, like somebody real famous or close to us, gonna have to drop because it's coronavirus, and then we all gonna like really shut ourselves in. And by that time, it's too late. You didn't spread it. That's true. And uh, forgot to say, fuck Rudy Gobert. <laughs> Facts. Fuck the Stifle Tower. No, nah, fucking uh, <laughs> Nikita on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> he said he gotta go back to France and never come back. Fact, no, nah, hey. nah. When Randy said deport this nigga immediately, <laughs> yes, uh, get him out of here, bro. It's the, you play too much, bro. You play way too much, just like a light skinned nigga. They play too much. I knew that nigga was suspect when he was started crying because he ain't get the All Star team. Yeah, when he didn't make All Star team. No yeah. shit. Yeah, <laughs> nigga started crying. He started crying. Light skinned nigga teams. Damn. Mm-hmm. Like Brady when he got drafted late, <laughs> crying about that shit years right, bro. later. Bro, you got like three rings already. Why are you still crying about yeah, this? Chill out, bro. <laughs> I think that nigga just signed like a hundred million dollar contract. 
Go bear. Relax, bro. <laughs> yeah. Right. Go bear. It's all right. You got, bro. You all right. Then this nigga touching, touched everything, he touching touched niggas' heads and faces. Dead ass. After he knew he had it? No. I don't know. I don't he, know like, because he was just acting like he, like he was like, oh, it'd be funny if I had it, right? They said Donovan Mitchell was pissed at him. Cause I bet. They play on the same team? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh. Donovan Mitchell has it now. Yeah, he got confirmed that he has it. He made a, hey, bro, he made a statement about it. He didn't even tag because. Nah. Like, yeah, Damn. like that's how mad he is. None of the NBA players wish Rudy Gobert well. None of them. Damn. Nobody said I'm praying for Gobert. Just because how stupid he was about yeah. it. I feel it, though, because. Like, nigga, you went out your way to yeah. touch everything. It'd be funny if I had it, right? And then you really had it. Stupid. Oh, I didn't know about all that. Yes. Yes. Oh, stupid mother. Okay, I get everything a little bit more now. Yeah. I thought it was just kind of a joke. No. I I get it now. But the NBA said they're not going to discipline him or anything. Support them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of, you yeah. can't really. I get it. I get they're it. They're not the NFL. Facts. <laughs> the NFL would have been like, all right. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Next season, you off. <laughs> you out. Huh? That nigga banished. <laughs> To the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to have fun with a disease? Fuck no. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie though. I kind of fuck with the UFC. They said shit don't stop, baby. Bro, no. <laughs> WWE's even worse. They still put having fans at WrestleMania. Oh. The whole goddamn event is going on as planned. <laughs> hey, this shit don't stop, hey, baby. bro. Vince was like, I already canceled the XFL. What more do you want out of me? Really? I'm not losing that. That is my cash cow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Hey. And out of all like things is the UFC and fucking uh wrestling. Out of all things. Out of all things, guess what? These numbers about to boom, baby. That's a fact. UFC about to have record numbers. I'm I'm actually really excited to it after or for it after they put out uh Dana was talking about how, you know, it's gonna be like old school martial arts and how you're gonna hear everything and I started that thinking about it. I was like Hey, that's gonna be hard. No, nah, bro. Cause that is, I don't think people ready for that though. To hear every smack and fucking thud. I am and I'm not at the same. I'm time. cool with you it. Know you saying? know, we've heard this shit. Right. You know, we've been at gyms and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I don't. The average fan ain't heard that shit. That's very true. Damn, nigga, it's going on. It's going Damn, down. Also, I got coronavirus. That Rona. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> is it wrong that like? Every time I hear somebody say that Rona, I instantly think of fucking Bobby Brown and that song Tenderoni. All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> She's mine. <laughs> My love for Tenderona. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. This reminds me. Uh... Stop this, dude. <laughs> I, 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 got, I got to plug us again. You know what I'm saying? We hey, are now on uh, Niggas Google on Google Play, Play baby. Oh, yeah. we, we are on Google Play now. Now all we need to do is get Apple Podcasts. We really in yes, there, sir. yes sir. And we are all streaming services all at that point. Them. Yep, all but one. It's because we ain't on Apple yet. Oh right, right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I, see what you're I already saying. been saying all platforms. Though. Fuck, fuck it. it. Yeah, fuck it. Talk that shit. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. Hey, fuck it. As soon as we get on Apple, bro, we gonna be like Thanos when he finally got all the stones. Cause uh, we about to exactly. Yeah, we about to hit the snap on the game, locking this shit down. Yes. That's a fact. <laughs> Need to bring balance back to this world. Bro, GameStop had a mm. fat ass Thanos uh, hand. Real shit, the, the gauntlet. Dollars, bro. Damn. I didn't think it was that bad for how, like, that shit was huge. Because mm-hmm. I remember, bro, I seen that. I mean, I wasn't going to pay $100 for it. But... I seen that bitch on Amazon for like three fifty. Damn. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, crazy because the gauntlet is like the new Hulk hands. The fact. Hulk that hands. is a fact. That's crazy. All I know is that. I got one thing and one thing only to say directly to coronavirus. If 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 you're out there listening, don't fuck with my season tickets. Oh, you hear? You hear? All right. I just had to get that. I up. did see a tweet that was like, <laughs> "Keep Patrick Mahomes safe." Yes. <laughs> Put that nigga in a bubble immediately. For real, bro. Kansas City's love for Patrick Mahomes is like so crazy. Insane. Bro. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> like, really I've insane. never seen nothing like that. Nah, it's crazy, bro. Over like, one person. I'm a Chiefs fan, and I think it's crazy. Dog. We ain't had a franchise quarterback since the '60s. <laughs> this is a big fact. And I'm, just think about the amount of love that Lynn Dawson got just for getting the ring. Fact. Even Joe Montana get a lot of love still. Fact, bro. That <laughs> shit trips me out because I'm like, 
Montana was here for a year. That nigga two was years washed. Two last. years. And he was washed. That was like he was going to Chicago. Fact. But he still managed to get y'all to what? The AFC uh, championship, championship game? <laughs> I mean, that's a fact. He did. Yeah, but. A washed Joe Montana. That's wild. And since then, we had Alex Smith. I mean, even look at Alex Smith, how much love he had at the beginning. You know that's what I'm saying? That's a fact. By the end, we all. Knew like, what y'all, was like up, y'all know but... what's up. Like, hey, bro, you, you did what you could. Mm-hmm. You just, you know, that's just not you. Speaking of the Chiefs. Uh, did anyone see Chris Jones tweet yesterday? Yes, sir. What did he right. say? That cryptic tweet. What did he uh, say, cuz? It was a Kevin Gates yeah. quote. Yeah. Something about, uh, you know I love you, but all good things must come to an end. Yeah. Some shit like that. Hey, he probably ain't happy about that franchise tag, and I kind of feel him. He won't, he won't that safety Hey, bro, blanket. we got to stop giving Kevin Gates all this credit. That nigga ain't say that shit. Now that I think about <laughs> it, that's a generic ass quote, bro. Anybody could have said that shit. We could have just put Papa's shoulder name at the end of that and be like, Papa's shoulder said that. This is a fact. Yeah. Look at Kevin Gates, bro. Hey, bro, he be getting away with just saying, like, shit that's common sense. Yeah. People, what, like, what, is, what is up with the love for Kevin Gates? Cause that should be tripping me up. Because people are stupid. Because I do I'm not keep fuck with Kevin Gates for real. Because people are stupid. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going to keep saying because people are stupid. People are dumb. Like, motherfuckers I'm ain't to never heard. out, like, to look at it on a bright side with, like, what do you... He can flow, I guess. Yeah, no, like, he makes some cool music, he, bro. He make cool music. I, 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 I think people thought he was dumb. So the fact that he shows some an common iota sense. of common sense. Some fucking it's like common sense. An iota. <laughs> yeah. Nah, bro. Because this is the worst part. Tell me why this nigga, he cheated on his girl, right? And she immediately called this nigga a king after he cheated. Huh? Low-key bitches <laughs> want you to cheat on them, though. It's character building. <laughs> I don't know what it is, dog. It's character like, I, building, I bro. Like... They want that struggle. They want to, like, and we made it through all these rocky storms, and we still together. You're dumb. <laughs> you just can't cheat too many times. Like, uh, yeah. you got to know when is the threshold of cheating. Hey, like, bro, yeah. It's, like, low-key, like, you get two. Hey, they don't play baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get uh, two cheats. <laughs> you get two cheats. And, like, the second one cannot be as serious as the first one. The second, the, se- one, the second one got to be a bad bitch. Yeah. The like, first one can be an ugly bitch. Yeah. Just can't have a baby, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The second you have a baby is like when, like, you've lo- like you've used all your cheats and you are on, like, your final strike. <laughs> yeah. It's That's fucked funny. up. <laughs> I, it, it's, it is what it is. Look at D-Wade. The game is the game. Look at the D-Wade. This man supposedly got a Miami stripper pregnant. Mm-hmm. And his marriage is stronger than ever. But he had, this is the worst part though, right? When you do cheat, you have to give up a lot of concessions. Because then they get to talk a lot about shit that shouldn't be talked about. Yeah. Because immediately after that, Gabby was like, yeah, he part of the Legs Up Mafia. Huh? If he hadn't cheated, that probably would have never seen the light of day. would have never seen the light of day. But because he cheated, he had to concede that. Yep. It's weird, bro. It's a weird art of negotiation with this shit. It's a lot of wheeling and dealing. It's a lot of wheeling and dealing, bro. That's lucky one of the funniest terms in the world. Legs up mafia? Yes. Yes. And that is coined by Ray. Is he? That's you? Yes. I didn't see that shit on Twitter. Really? Yes. I came up with that. I've heard it so much, I thought it was from Twitter Same. or something. I might, like, I, I swear to God, I said it, like, right before niggas started saying it. I was like, damn, I wish I was popping a little bit more on Twitter. Mm. I feel that. You know. But it's it's whatever, you know. That's what, like, see, that might just been the zeitgeist. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just came to motherfuckers' heads mm-hmm. at the yeah, same time. Yeah, I feel it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Because I said that shit as soon as, <laughs> as soon as B said that shit. I was just like, all right, yep, legs up, Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling on a lot of niggas this episode, brother. It's all right. You already said that. I was about to say, I, I was like, that's yeah, already known. Okay. I'm bringing it back, though. Ray just never, putting it all in one yes. place. Ray never forgets. <laughs> This nigga doesn't. Nah, for all the times yeah. niggas hold me, I'd never forget. Mm-hmm. Elephant. That is right. I'm putting curses on it. Elephant man. <laughs> Until you do right by me. <laughs> Everything you do will crumble. <laughs> yes. Oh, nigga. I, bro, y'all understand how much I empathize with this nigga thing. So I was like, this nigga, right. You got some balance to this shit. Air these niggas out. But, uh... What were we talking about? Chris Jones? Yeah. <laughs> it started with coronavirus, and we... That nigga leaving. Yeah. I, hope, I really hope he don't, bro. I hope he don't. That's, a, hope he that's don't a massive either, blow to bro. that defense. It seemed like he want to leave, though. 
kind of. Because he tired of being fucked around. He won't. He won't. I don't know. I can't judge dude no more. I kind of stopped trying was, to like figure was, it out. He want his money, dog. Long term money. I think the leverage we have is the fact that he was hurt too. Kinda, yeah, to an extent. Like, yeah. But like he gave y'all that extra push on defense too. He did. That's no, a fact. no, That's a fact. Most definitely. Because like, if he, it was up to me, he'd get paid. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I think they, I think they paid everybody like a little too early. And like that, I say yes and no at and the plus, same time. And plus, we don't know about the CBA. Yeah. That's because the real thing. Because yeah, like, this we don't know thing. if they're going to get a cap increase or not. Because if they don't get a cap increase, then they basically have to decide between Chris Jones and Pat, Pat Mahomes. And every time they're going to go with Pat Mahomes. Absolutely. Sorry, 15 Chris. 15 out of 10 times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. I mean, <laughs> you can just tell the teams that are used to being in a position of Contending for a Super Bowl mm-hmm. and the teams that are not, by how they go about the cap situation. Yeah. For instance, with a team like the Pats, it's a little bit more ruthless <laughs> when you're dealing with I don't that type of thing. I watched them cut a nigga five times in one yeah, season. Yeah, like it. <laughs> but with us, it's like more of a family feeling still, uh, like yeah. loyalty. And so, you know, like when y'all got to do a ruthless move, it just come off cold. Yeah. Because we present ourselves like a family yeah. franchise. Because you like, know what I see y'all doing? Franchise tagging cuz and trading. If he's going to leave, that's yeah. the best thing to do. That'd be the smart I thing. I mean. Shit, get some uh, O-line help or something. Yeah. That's what picks I'll say. Or something. Yeah, I was about to say picks, yeah. Yeah, because fuck. How many picks do you think you can get out of him? Uh, Two or three. Yeah. How early, though? Oh, I don't know. I say y'all could probably pull a second in like two fourths. I can see that. Yeah. Cause I mean, like this is this is an all pro player. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I mean, statistically, him and Aaron Donald are right there. Right there. Like literally, Aaron Donald got him by a bit. And, and he does Aaron deserve Donald. to get paid. I test, what, CBA, I test. What do you think, though? I don't think they're close. I test. Close. Yeah. I test. No. Like I think they're close, but not. I think it's still a a gap, yeah, a thorough gap. I feel what you say. I disagree. Really? I, I absolutely disagree. By watching them, like Be- with your eyes, yes, and because of the playoffs, essentially, okay. especially in the AFC Championship game, when he was on the field, he was in the backfield every single time. Maybe it's the machine behind Aaron Donald that that makes mm-hmm. me and feel it, like and that. he play. Where that, does he play? In L.A., he's kind of one of the only bright spots on defense. Where does Chris Jones play? Tracy. All right. That's what I'm saying. It's the machine. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a and then I'll say it. this, too. In that same respect, Chris Jones has more help in the uh, on the uh, excuse me on the defensive line than Aaron Donald is. He's just pretty much like a one-man machine. Does he or does he make everybody on that D-line better? I mean, you can say that, too. I'm not saying that it's like, you know, it's strictly one and not the mm-hmm. other. But I feel like that plays a part into it, too, because name me somebody else from the Rams defensive line. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You can't, right? Last year, you had Dominican though. Not That's, this past season. But. I know. But, like, Shoot. yeah, the season before, yeah, he had, he had yeah, Dominican Sue. But, yeah. <laughs> Old ass Adam Kasu. He was still disruptive as yeah. fuck, though. Adam, yeah. Because, bro, yeah. he was down there in Tampa Bay fucking shit up. Yeah. Is he that old? How old is Adam Kasu? He's like 33, 34, yeah. bro. That's still a prime. I mean, for that position, age. though. Yeah, no. like, bro, you break down a lot because it's a lot of wear and tear on the knees. a lot of, you know, you got to think you in the trenches every play. Every play. So. Bumping heads, mm-hmm. grinding your knees and ankles to shit. Yeah. It's crazy how much uh, Suggs was able to give to us. Fact. Right? Fact. With his old age. like, yep. And he's not really that old. I can't wait for him to be a coach for us. He's like 36. Is he? Because he came to the league in like 05. Because, like, he's old, but he's not that old. He got some mileage on him. For sure, and still good. He's going to be a great uh-huh. coach, bro. Yeah. Oh, Just the, yeah. the way I hear people talk about uh-huh. him and how stu- uh, studious, studious he is. Sizzle. Yeah, bro. I mean, that's the only way you can stay in the game that long. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah being a student the only way. Game. That's the only Hell way. yeah, bro. Damn. That makes, that makes me think about Brian and his longevity with basketball. With it being his 17th year and him still being as dominant as he is. Fact. You guys, who do you think should be MVP? 
I, I know you probably haven't enough. watched much, but because bro, you talking to a lowly Bulls fan right now. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel you. And I watched my man, you know, Zach Levine, kind of get shitted on. Like he couldn't even make reserves for the All Star game. That was kind of shitty. But they snubbed Bradley Beal too, and that man been balling. Yeah. So like, I don't feel that bad about it, but like, I still I feel a way. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, like, fuck, who I else think, is in the um, running? D-Book and Bill got snubbed. Yeah, that's right. Book, yeah, and Book. And Book made it because somebody got hurt, I think. Oh, word. I think Book replaced Lillard. Logo Lillard. Because Lillard got hurt. I, I believe so. Hey, but, you know what's been my favorite narrative from the NBA this season? The fact that, like, the Golden State Warriors are ass. <laughs> right? They are ass. Uh-huh. Booty and Draymond been real quiet, right? Besides, he been trying to talk shit to Charles Barkley. I seen that. That shit cracked me up. Like, yeah, it's cool, you know, to talk shit when you got like you know five deadly shooters on your squad. Now you the only one on the floor for real, bro. Uh huh. Where that same loud talk, and he like, oh, he can talk to the rings, nigga. You got carried to them rings. That's a fact. <laughs> you yeah. got carried to them rings, bro. That's a fact. I don't think Carrie Link better than bad? you, nigga. Nah, he's gonna be out the whole season. What did you say? <laughs> say AK-47? Andre K. I say AK forty seven better than you, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> I feel it though, cause Karolinko was close. Karolinko was a fucking. He was ahead of his time. Uh huh. That dude was a nightmare. Like he was ahead of his time. <laughs> he could guard damn near any position. Like he was ahead of his time, bro. Fact. You know, I be thinking about dudes like that that be just coming over from halfway across the world and end up in a place like Utah. <laughs> Yeah. And they probably fit in right at home. Like, oh, this, <laughs> this is just like home. <laughs> it's like, I wonder what they be thinking. Could you imagine if a Karolinko came into the league today? Like, with modernized skills? It'd, it'd be a wrap. What, the closest thing we got to that is Doncic, huh? Uh, just because of his size and skill? Kinda, yeah, but Karolinko... Kinda, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's the closest comparison I can think of. Maybe Porzingis, too? Yeah. Porzingis isn't as nimble and agile. Yeah. But. That's why I, that's why I said Doncic, because he got a little bit more wiggle to him. Doncic is not defensive-minded as Karolinko. True. Karolinko could lock niggas down. Karolinko was like. <laughs> Karolinko was the like. Is he rushing? Yes. Yeah. Karolinko was rushing Tayshaun Prince. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with that? that comparison, bro. I fuck with that. I see that. Yeah, man. Hot damn. Tayshaun Prince was a cold motherfucker. That was back then when I Nightmares. actually watched ball. Yeah. <laughs> you said what? Nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Between Tayshaun Prince and Bruce Bowen of the Spurs, mm. nightmares. Hated mm-hmm. them niggas. <laughs> Couldn't stand them. How you think niggas feel about Joel Anthony, bro? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, he wasn't the name like Bowen and Tayshaun was. Fair. Though. But he was just like. Like, Bowen was a sophisticated Pat Bev. <laughs> a not so ignorant Pat Bev? Yeah. <laughs> Pat Bev, ignorant, bro. Pat Bev is Black Force energy, nigga. <laughs> black Air Force energy, yeah, bro. Yeah, Black Force is energy. <laughs> This nigga Bruce Bowen was wearing bow ties and shit to the game, yeah. and then will lock you up. Show was, bro. It will articulate himself perfectly after the game <laughs> about how he locked you up. You know, I just know his moves on the inside, and uh, you know, just executed from there. Pontificated. <laughs> whoa, whoa, nigga. Hey, brother, <laughs> that's got way too many syllables. Cut it out. <laughs> oh. Are we down the docket, bro? What? What? Uh, what's the time? Where we at, Papa Show? 109. 109. Damn. I mean, yeah, we kind of been rolling, bro. Yeah. I don't know. I'm hyped off caffeine, so. Me too. I've been talking shit. That's been having me in a fucking zone. Exactly, bro. That's why I was like, I I, that's why I had to come through with it. Because I was like, if I didn't, I kind of felt like today was going to be a slow day. It was. I, I can't, yeah, I can't, can't let it. would have been bad. The weather is shitty. Yep. Yeah. Whenever the weather cold, is shitty, we are shitty. Cold yeah. and rainy. Yeah. yeah. That shit is feel beyond bad. garbage. Feel bad for Shout out to Ray work. for the win. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. Shout out to Ray. Ray fucked the world. <laughs> hey, because <laughs> no, that was the funniest shit ever. He just found out this year 
what FTW meant. I didn't know it was for the win. <laughs> who, who was I talking about? Jimmy Butler. He was like, yeah, Jimmy Butler, like, fuck the world. I was, I was just like, like, no, nigga, for the win. For the win. And he was just like, what? That don't mean fuck the world. I was like, it used to back in like 92. We changed the name. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> that nigga is a dog. <laughs> and isn't it like uh his like uh the wins uh win stats go up when he doesn't score double digit points or not double uh over twenty points? Yeah. Like when like uh, as soon as he scores like twenty, like they win percentage just Yeah. Damn. But like if he doesn't score twenty, what's dub. the plan for the NBA? Are they planning on resuming? Uh, or are they just throwing the rest of the season away? Wait, nah, so they, it's like a thirty day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the XFL just straight up through their whole season. They up. had to though. Yeah, they had to. To me, the NBA is a bit it's more. It's not much stable. that they have in place. I mean, that's true. XFL because like, I was this. like, what they have like three more weeks, man. That's a tough break for um my guy. What's what's uh McMahon? That's a yeah. tough yeah. break. Yeah, yeah, that's because that's what Schroeder was talking about. Because he was just like, I'm not canceling both yeah, my cash cows. Yeah, he'll be damned if he give up WrestleMania. especially You if know he how much money XFL? he lost from this, though? Probably. A ton. Because how much money was it to put XFL together? I'm not Don't have me sure. I yeah. say this just to get the AFL running again. It took 250 mil. That's how much they had to sink back into it just to With get it up and running again. AAF? AAF, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Not the AFL. The AAF, yeah. Mm. That's how much money they had to like like reinvest into it just to get it back up and running. So I'm guessing he had to put in like a quarter of a billion just to get it going. Jesus mm. Christ. Rich I don't know why, why was it so hard for him to pay stars? Like for Kaepernick. You already put that much mean? money. Like, cause Kaepernick wanted twenty million and they weren't willing to give him twenty million. Because everybody's making the same. Yeah, they all make like equal salary. Bro, I kind of feel that from them. Really? Yeah. But the ratings, dog. Like, you know how much ratings Kaepernick would have bought? Yeah, but then you put in place the... That's a huge overhead to try exactly. to cover. Exactly. Because if everybody else making a couple hundred thousand, and you got, you got one, one dude, dude in the whole fucking league making 20 And, million. you know, this is an injury-prone sport. He get hit one, uh, you know, one good time. He off the field. There goes my cash cow. That's true. And I just sunk 20 million yeah. into this man. That's true. You know what ain't, I'm saying? Ain't no way that deal's gonna be guaranteed or some shit like that. But you, know. you stuck 250 million in the dudes we don't know. I mean, it was into the entire operation. I though. know. Yes and no. There was a lot of people in there that you and know like, just j- either just fizzled out or you know were right on the cusp of the NFL. Hey, was Trent Richardson playing? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Damn, that nigga. I think, only, even they I think the only one I knew was. Uh, the quarterback from Ohio State, Cardell Jones. Yeah, uh, Landry Jones. Oh yeah, backup um, for the sewage. Yeah, yeah, damn. What he happened? he was a Dallas quarterback, Dallas was, Renegades. Was he? Um, and then who else? Christian Michael. Oh, Christian Michael yeah. Senior. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he plays for St. Louis. Um, who else? There was a uh, what was that? Sammy Coates. Oh yeah, the yeah. over uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steelers receiver. Yeah, Sammy Coates was in there. Yeah, Speedy. Speedy. Um, Damn, Martavis Brown couldn't find his way in there. He would have lit that shit up. Fact. Yeah. The alien. Yeah. I hate. Oh, I hate that. Like weed is on the banned substance list for yeah. fucking NFL. Didn't they talk about? They're talking about it. They're yeah. talking about it, but that's um, it. And Josh Gordon would be the goat at this point. That dude, Johnny Manziel. He cracked me up with that shit because he was like, I'm not going to another organization that's just going to fail in a year. Talk that dude shit. is shitty, man. Bro, you going to fail in a year. I was Chill. Like, bro, you <laughs> couldn't cut it in the CFL. Cut yeah. it out. Facts. Like, he was getting, yeah. You couldn't cut it in the CFL. I'm not trash. trying to hear nothing you're talking no. about. He was trash. I thought he was going to light it up. We all did. Man. We, we all drank the Kool-Aid, bro. Yeah, I right. really thought he was going to turn the Browns around. Dog, maybe not like I was talking nothing about crazy, I'm but not oh, not even something. I shit, I thought he was really gonna make it in the NFL. I thought he was too. I hate to say it, Loki. His fate was sealed as soon as he got draft, drafted by the Browns. They have a curse put on them. They do. They have a curse put on them. Somebody cursed them. I I honestly can't wait to see next year to see how Baker responds. He he has to adjust his game. I hope he is spending all this whole off season in the in the gym. 
In the lab. You would hope so. In the gym looking like a fucking hobo. I feel like Real if, shit. <laughs> I feel like if Lamar can advance and improve and passing like in a he year, did, yeah. I feel like Baker can. Yeah. He already came out with better mechanics. That's a fact with Lamar. better throwing mechanics. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. for sure. For sure. So Honestly, yeah, like if Lamar is passing Hey, I just wanna say, would y'all be saying that if E D J was here? What's what? that? Just that he got Good. better passing mechanics. I probably nah, cause I'll, EDJ would have said something about that. Oh, does he now? <laughs> yeah, he would have said that. all heavy on the mic and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, we trying to eat the mic sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you sounded like that gift from Hey Arnold hey, to get punched by Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Fact, bro. Y'all are rude. <laughs> Man, he know EDJ <laughs> does not listen to the episodes he's not on. <laughs> Fact yeah. number one and then number two, I would get these jokes off if he was here or not. That's a fact. He know yeah, these jokes true. are coming, bro. That's true. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> EDJ cursed this man, Randy. You said what? EDJ put a curse on Randy. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! <coughs> oh, excuse me. You probably have to edit that out. We got coronavirus. <laughs> that Rona. That Rona. <laughs> that Rona. Nah, boy. Uh. Honestly, to kind of keep the thing of sports going, what you was talking about with the women's uh, U.S. team, mm-hmm. soccer team, that's some despicable shit. That's some low-key some despicable shit. Despicable. They, like, low-key, they was really out here shifting the goalposts, had me <laughs> believing that the women wasn't bringing in no money like that, and they out here out-earning the men's. <laughs> you already coughed on your mic. I know, you I did. Know. You passed it on. Shit, I'm, I'm... Didn't you tell me you came in here sick, bro? <laughs> sure did. I was about to say, yeah, say it. <laughs> sure did. Uh-uh. Get it on the record. Yep. I got corona. Yeah, if we get rona, we shoot and we It's Papa Shro's fault. <laughs> yeah. He, we, uh... I'll take blame. I was like, he patient zero. Patient zero. Mm-hmm. You might want to get, uh, some life insurance. Okay. Yeah. It's only a 98% chance of uh, <laughs> a survival. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go back to the uh, U.S. women's soccer team. Oh, shit. Mm. Three XFL teams on alert after Seattle Dragons player tests positive for coronavirus. God damn. So. Damn, bro. And I really wanted to spend like half of my summer out west. And I can't now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was something that I was going to say that I don't think that I said earlier when we was talking about it. Um, is that the way people carry it, it's going to be interesting to see if that translates like, to next year. You're going to carry it all summer, and then once that shit comes back out, all of a sudden... Yeah, when people's immune infected, system starts yeah, weakening yep, up. Weakening yep. yeah. I think I think that's like almost the scariest threat of all of that it. That shit about to have a fourth quarter comeback. <laughs> Facts. I think Overtime. I've been hearing some, seeing something about them saying it, it, it's going to come back next year. Yeah, they expect it to come back like uh, like common cold every year now. Uh, yeah. Damn wrong. It's going to be a yearly thing. Keep your immune systems right. That's all I can tell you. No more Santa Claus. I don't know. Is that Santa going to spread Corona? Going to everybody's house and shit. Man, I can't have fun with it, damn. Who this man? <laughs> Bro. That was bad. This shit not for kids anyway. Bro, so you, oh, you lucky I can't get no fucking tap shoes. I'd act like the Sandman. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> get your ass off the stage. Right. Yeah, no, nah, man. So the women <laughs> yeah. generated roughly $50.8 million in revenue compared to the men... That generated forty nine point nine. Neck and neck with the men's, and there's a huge Ooh, pay gap. That's disgusting. Huge pay gap, and they made more. And the men's got paid more. And what was the what was the unofficial statement from the uh, not the MLS, but from the uh, oh U.S. committee? They was basically saying that the men do more work than the women. What's more work? <laughs> like their workload is more than the women. But yet, they still bring it in the same amount. Of money. It don't matter. That is a huge commitment to being sexist. Ain't it? <laughs> like, if you really think about it, that is a huge 
commitment. They must have forgot what time we in. Because number this one, is 2020. And like, okay, that shit ain't about to fly. Because like, if they saying like the men play more games and then they still manage to under earn the women, well, that's I'm, sad. I'm pretty sure that. Uh, well, I don't know because the coworker was telling me this that uh, the women played twelve more games last year than the men. That's crazy. Man. I don't know how true that is for sure, but I mean, shit, probably because they go probably so deep in the fucking playoffs. Yeah. Probably, like they That's actually saying, go deep yeah. into the series. They be winning World Cups. The men didn't even qualify for the last World Cup. <laughs> that's so. crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Like we have a dominant team here. <laughs> and like they not being. It's paid not even about you being sexist so much as like being business oriented. The people making you the most money, you're not doing right by them. Right. What does that make sense? Right. That's why I say it's a big commitment to being sexist. Like, yeah. It just doesn't. It's make sense. over the top. Really. Exactly. Like, bro, you are going out of your way to be sexist uh-huh. at this point. Cut it out. Cut the shit. Yeah, it's just pretty insane to me. When... Not, not to mention that they're they're turning themselves into superstars. Like, facts. They were very relatable to everybody in social media. Like, fact, like, there's no, like, I can't remember a time other than me and him that I actually knew, like, some of the starters for the U.S. women's team. And Megan Rapino is a household name. Facts. Fact. Everybody knows her. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows her. Uh, who was the other one that we knew from back then? It was me and him and. Uh, Bowie. I forgot her name. Cannot remember her name. The one that took that aggressive. There we go. He finally Ooh. said Because, <laughs> like, you remember when, like, it Hope was like. Solo? There we yeah. go. Bro, you remember in, like, 2013 when all these stars, like, nudes was getting leaked? Like, they managed yes. to get Gabrielle yes. Unions. <laughs> yeah. They got Jennifer yeah. Lawrence's. Nah, Kim K might have leaked her own. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she leaked her own. Jill Scott's somehow got out. <laughs> Randy is filthy. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, Hope Solo's came out. And, bro, I've never felt more uncomfortable looking at somebody else's nudes, bro. Because, <laughs> like, it just came across my timeline. And, like, she was, like, it was almost like she was telling whoever she sent them shits to to take. Like, you're going to take this pussy. Yeah. <laughs> like, she was the man in that. That was and, a strong <laughs> pussy. Real. <laughs> it looked like Mr. Potato Head put angry eyes on <laughs> I packed your angry eyes. (laughs) What have we become? (laughs) Real. (laughs) If pussies could frown. (laughs) Real shit. Her shit had the game six. Hey, her shit had the game six brawn face, bro. (laughs) Game six brawn face. Game six brawn face. Her shit smooth. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) We're about to go out there and get a Celtics. 40, nigga. 45 <laughs> on the Celtics, pussy. <laughs> Game six, bro, face, pussy, bro. <laughs> nah, that shit was great. <laughs> oh, man. Another classic Strobanks moment right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I can't even think of another topic. <laughs> no, nah, bro. <laughs> Rapskis? Rapskis. I think that is a good <laughs> point to end the show. <laughs> We're about to end the show. This is the Shrobank Show. Shrobank, Shrobanks. I'm, uh, excuse me, from Rated R, live, live from Rated R Studios. Thanks, thanks. My man Rated R Randy is saying peace. So is my man Schroeder. I'm Ray. We out, baby. Shrobanks out. <laughs>